so last week I'm on this deserted island, see, and, and there's one television and really wobbly internet, so I get this equivalent of like a ship-to-shore message. Governor Palin pardoned a Thanksgiving turkey, but she did it while she was standing in front of a, a turkey rendering device. Our third story in the countdown, I haven't seen the tape yet. I mean, seriously. Came back Saturday night, worked football yesterday. I heard some of it. It sounded like the second worst political photo op of all time, but I thought, well, if I'm going to watch it, let's try something different. I'll watch it for the first time in front of people who've already seen it. You. So with the warning that we're not blurring anything and you might want to get the kids out of the room, if not out of the house, to say nothing of the justifiably offended by stuff like this, and the additional warning that I may signal to stop the tape at any moment by making the timeout gesture or shouting, freeze it, let her, as it were, rip. We're ready. All right, Governor Palin, yeah. I just asked you a couple of good questions. About sure. Now. Being on the campaign trail, how has it yeah. changed you now? I don't think it's changed me at all. I have the same values and convictions and, and positions and policies. I'm just a greater appreciation, I think, for um, what other candidates go through. You know, it's, pr it's pretty uh. brutal, the, the, the time consumption there and the, um, the energy that has to be spent uh, in order to uh. get out and about with a message on a national level. Great appreciation for other candidates who have gone through this. But also, um, just a, a great appreciation for this great country. There's so many good Americans. Did she say brutal? Okay, play it. Americans who are just desiring of, of their government to kind of get out of the way and allow them to grow and progress and allow our businesses to grow and progress. So great appreciation for those who share that value. And it was a blast. Every day was just a blast out there on the trail. Oh, uh -oh. Plans, no. um, you know, plans but just that. include uh, uh, getting through uh, uh, the budget process that we're going through right now, building the state's budget based on uh, the price of oil that has plummeted so great. At some point, didn't somebody say there, somebody with the governor say, let's just move slightly over to the left or the right or perhaps 3,000 miles that way? Okay, go and reining in the growth of government and uh, uh, plans like that that have to do with um, helping to govern this state and building this team that uh, is continually being built to provide good service to Alaskans. So in my role as governor, that, that's what my uh, plans are all around. Due to the declining oil prices, are you concerned about any state programs being on the top of the uh, uh, all right. You oh, know, hold thankfully... Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay. Uh, I, I'm thinking this is the right moment to mention the, this episode uh, 30 years ago from the sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, which the radio station wants to give away turkeys as a Thanksgiving promotion, and they decide to drop them from a helicopter, and they just and they plummet. You've seen this one? Play this. Mr. Colley, we know what the Humane Society stands for. The National Guard? <laughs> no, sir, the National Guard. I don't think it's that serious. Well, Mr. Colley, a lot of turkeys don't make it through Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's a relevant point, but still, all right, just play it some more. We're in a good position still, fiscally speaking. We're in a good position, but it made no sense that $140 a barrel of oil that, that some lawmakers wanted to spend, spend, spend. We were warning them then, the administration was, that we had to prepare for the day that the price of oil would plummet, which, of course, it has done. So we had prepared then, um, reined in the growth of government then, and we will um, uh, now, uh, that comes into play at this point where um, those savings that we had set aside, forward funding, anticipating a drop in oil, uh, accounting for okay, that, so all that. At, at, at what has to happen behind her for her to notice? Uh, just, just play. ...comes into play now at $50 a barrel oil. Great, so why was today so important for you? Mm. Oh, well, this was, this was neat. Oh, was, right, 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 again, again, wait a minute. He turned around and looked at her. He turned around and looked at her, and she's she's looking over she's looking over there. No, she's looking over there. I'm sorry. She's looking over there, and he's looking at her, and she still doesn't stop. She just just goes goes goes. All right, play the tape again. To be invited to participate in this, and and uh, you know, it, it for one, you need a little bit of levity in this job, especially with uh, uh, so much that has gone on in the last couple of months that has been so um, political, obviously. That is. And what better place to have a little levity than standing in front of an automatic turkey killing machine? Well, I've got one for you. What's the difference between a hockey mom and, you know, a mass turkey murdering machine? Looks like about 15 feet. Okay, play the tape. It's nice to get out and, and, and do something to promote a local business and, and to uh, just participate in something that isn't so uh, heavy-handed politics that uh, invites criticism. Certainly we'll probably invite criticism for even doing this, too, but at least this was fun.
And what is it that you're thankful for this year? Oh, so thankful for the health and happiness of my family, that my son's striker brigade is safe over there in Iraq, relatively safe, and school's going well for the kids, and Trig is happy and healthy. Just very thankful for um, the health and happiness of my family. But then as, as much so, that thankfulness that I have just being in Alaska, knowing that this is the land of opportunities and possibilities, so happy to get to be here. What's the maximum legal amount I could donate to whatever campaign she's going to stage next? I mean, is it the same for, like, the presidency, the vice presidency, the Senate, mayor of Wasilla again? Is it just 2300 bucks? Can I donate under assumed names? Can I ask everybody to donate? Is that violating something with the FCC, even though this is cable? I mean, this is... All right, there's more? Go. Are you, what, what are you going to cook for Thanksgiving? I'll be in charge of the turkey. Yeah, my sisters and my mom, they're all bringing everything else, but I'm always in charge of the turkey. It's ready. Go. So, I'm where I need to be today to prepare for that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And, uh, and here would be the moment at which the payoff line from that episode of WKRP in Cincinnati seems to sum things up. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> So uh, I'm guessing that's that's why a conservative friend of mine actually actually said to me the other day, uh, you know, before the election, I thought she was just great. But I was listening to her after the election. And not only, as he put it, is she the dumbest politician I've ever heard, but she doesn't even have a clue that she is the dumbest politician I've ever heard. Wow.